Hi friends, I'm Rachna and I'm back with a new lesson. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to use had better. It's a model verb, okay? Well, you may have heard it very rarely or probably not even heard it. You have learned many model verbs like should, would, could in our previous lessons, all right? But in today's lesson, we are going to learn had better, a model verb used to give advice and suggestions. <music> Tell me, uh, should is also used to give advice or suggestion. Yes, it is. But we're going to see how had better is a little different and in what type of situations you can use had better as a model verb to give advice or suggestion. Okay. Now, you had better tell her everything. Now, supposing I tell someone, you had better tell her everything. I mean that if you don't tell her, there is going to be a negative repercussion or consequences that is not going to be really good. Okay. So here, if you say you should tell her everything also is correct. But when I want to tell you that if you don't do this, there is going to be a negative effect, then use had better. Okay. Now, this is how the model verb is had better. So it is used to give advice or suggestion in the present or future. Though it is had, but this is how it is, had better. You never use have better as a model verb. Okay. Okay, so remember you use had better in particular situations, not in general situations. Okay, so for example, if I want to give you a general advice, I would say you should brush your teeth twice a day. That's a general suggestion. I cannot say you had better brush your teeth twice a day. I will use had better in situations, in particular situations something very particular where I'm telling you if you don't do this it there is going to be a negative impact or the outcome is not going to be really favorable okay so when you talk about particular situations you want to give an advice or suggestion then use had better as a model verb okay now in my next sentence we had better get back to work now think of a situation, your boss is not in office, okay, and all of you sit together with your colleagues, probably just chit chatting, catching up on what you did in your last weekend, okay, and you realize it's, it's the time, I mean, any moment your boss is going to come in. So I tell my colleagues, we had better get back to work, okay. Now why do I say we had better? Because if we don't, and imagine my boss walks in and sees us sitting around and chit chatting, I mean, I don't need to explain the consequences. You must be knowing what's going to happen next. So I use had better get back to work to avoid a negative consequences. I say we had better. So you see, I use had better in this particular situation. It's not a general, uh, uh, you know, a general advice that I'm giving or a general situation in this particular situation to avoid the negative impact. I say we had better get back to work. Okay, so remember had better is used to give advice in the present and in the future, but in particular situations, not general situations. Okay, or rather should I say, it, uh, you know, no general advices in a particular situation. Okay, we'd better reach the airport at five or else we may miss the flight. Now see here, it's very clear. If we don't reach at five, there is going to be a negative impact or a consequences. You will miss the flight. We may miss the flight. So wait better. Well, here I have contracted had with we. Okay. So you say it as weed. We'd better reach the airport at five or else we may miss the flight. Okay. So to avoid this negative consequence, we had better. 
so I'm giving advice in a particular situation so I use had better okay friends I hope you've understood till here now let's see how we use it in a negative sentence we'd better not miss the start of the movie okay so here we'd better not now please remember you will not construct a sentence like we hadn't better okay this is absolutely wrong you say we had better not this is how you use it in the negative we had better not so we had better not miss the start of the movie so use not in the negative to make a negative sentence with had better so had better not do not use hadn't better please remember this a lot of people make this mistake okay you'd better not lie to her now if you do lie to her you're going to be in great trouble so you'd better not lie to her again i've used a negative not do not say you hadn't better lie to her that is absolutely incorrect you say you'd better not lie to her okay now how do we make a question out of it all you need to do is put had before the subject like in this case had i better speak to john before i send the parcel so I'm asking you, is it a good idea? I'm asking for an advice or a suggestion. To do that, I say, had I better speak to John before I send the parcel. Okay, so had I better. Do not use do I had better or does I had better. That is absolutely incorrect. To make a question, all you need to do is take had before the subject. In this case, the subject is I. So you use, you use had I better speak to John before I send the pass. Okay. The next question, had we better leave a note for her on the table? Again, if you see, I have put had before the subject we. Had we better leave a note for her on the table? Asking you if it is a good option or is it a good suggestion to leave a note for her on the table okay friends this is how we use had better as a model verb to give advice a suggestion in a particular situation when you want to say or when you want to uh, say if you do not do this you have a negative consequence or an impact okay so well this brings me to the end of the lesson i hope you enjoyed watching it well, do put in your comments and queries. I'll be back soon with a new lesson. Till then, take care and bye.